Good day, parents, our able parents of Practical Computer Comprehensive Schools. Good day, boys and girls. We are all welcome back again to our online learning. This class is for basic one. Now, the subject we have is mathematics for our week three. Now, let's remind ourselves of what we learned in our week one and two which was open sentences we learned what open sentences i believe we all did our best and we understood everything i believe we understood everything if that is it so let's carry on with our week three all right boys and girls i hope you are ready get your pencil your exercise book your notebook and let's learn so our topic for today is money our topic for today is money now let's see by the end of this class boys and girls you would understand the uses of money you'll be able to mention the uses of money okay then you also recognize all the all types of money including the coins you recognize the types of money we use in nigeria including the nigerian coins okay then you also understand the value for money you understand the value for money all right boys and girls let's do this so boys and girls what is money what is money let's see money is anything that is generally acceptable as a medium of exchange did you get that i said money is anything that is generally acceptable as a medium of exchange what do we mean by generally acceptable you know what it means something that is um welcomed all over a place as a medium of exchange you go to buy something you hand the money you have to the seller the seller would hand you the goods whatever you want to buy what the money that you've given to him or her okay so you must go with the acceptable currency in the country if you're in nigeria which is what naira because it's acceptable anywhere in the country as a medium of exchange you know what exchange is I give you this you give me that I give you something you give me another thing that is what the um, price or that is what the value of the money I gave to you okay it's all about exchange is all about I give you then you give me something else in exchange for it in replacement for it I go to buy biscuits with 15 naira. I give you the 15 naira, and you give me biscuits that is worth 15 naira. Now, if you don't give me the biscuits that is worth 15 naira, if you give me a biscuit that is worth 30 naira, the price is 30 naira. That means you're going to give me back what 20 naira as my what change. That's what an exchange. Okay. Now, money could be in notes or coins it could be in notes or coins though right now in nigeria we no longer use our coins but in most uh in outside countries like the united states of america they're still using their word cent their coins they call it what cent they're still using it okay we we are now using mostly the notes but that wouldn't stop us from learning about the coins today we need to see the coins and know what it looks like all right let's continue all right boys and girls let's look at uses of money uses of money what do we use money for okay let's look at them now first of all we use money in buying of food and clothes we use money to buy food and clothes that clothes you're putting on was bought with money okay 
The food you ate this morning, which your mom cooked and prepared, she bought the ingredients for the food with money. Are you with me? Virtually everything in your house is bought with money. The seat you're sitting on is bought with money. Okay? Let's see. All right, we use money in building houses, building of houses. We use money to build houses. Now, how do we use money to build houses? Now, when you want to build a house, you must have a land to build a house. If you don't have a land, what do you do? You buy the land with money, right? You buy the materials for building the house with money. You pay the laborers, the workers with money. You pay the contractor in charge of the work with money. You see? So everything about building of the house is all about what? Money. Okay? Now let's see the next one. Paying off school fees. We use money in paying off school fees. Okay? You're learning right now. That's because your mom or your dad must have paid your online learning school fees right without that you wouldn't have access to this right now okay so we use money in paying off school fees all right now we also use money in paying or workers salary paying of workers salary money is used to pay workers salary what is salary money that is paid at the end of the month for services rendered for services rendered that is what salary like right now auntie is teaching you she will be paid her salary at the end of the month so money is used to do what pay workers salary okay all right, boys and girls, let's um, continue with. Um, all right, let's continue with different currencies of Nigeria. Different currencies of Nigeria. Now, boys and girls, in Nigeria, we use Naira and Kobo as our legal word currency. As our legal word currencies yes nigeria uses naira and kobo as illegal currency okay so that means anywhere you go in nigeria to buy you do what you use what naira or kobo but right now in the country we no longer use kobo for some economic reasons so right now we are using the naira which is in the note form but we are going to take a look of what the Kobo looks like. The Kobo coin looks like. Let's see what the Kobo coin looks like. Okay. Now here we can see it's boldly written. We have our what? Our 50 Kobo. Here we can see the 50 Kobo. Right? Here we can see one Naira. We can see our one Naira. Here we can even see half Kobo. We can see half a kobo. And here is what we have our five kobo. Here we have our five what? Kobo. Here is our what? 25 kobo. Here is our one kobo. And here is our 10 kobo. Now, just like the United States, they are still using their cent. Their coin, they call it what? Cent. Our own coin, we call it what? Kobo. All right, just like we have the Kobo, mind you, we also have one naira in Kobo eh, in coin. Okay, we also have one naira in what coin, but all our Kobos are all in coins. All the Kobos of the Nigerian currency is in coin. All right, are you with me? But we also have one naira in what coin we have it in the what coins okay 
we also have it in the coins our naira begins from our naira notes begins from five naira the nigerian naira notes begins from five naira you know coin is different coins is different from notes these ones we are seeing in this picture they are what coins this is 50 kobo coin this is one naira coin this is half kobo coin this is five kobo coin this is 25 kobo coin and this is one kobo coin and 10 kobo coin all together they are what coins okay now nigeria uses naira and kobo as a legal currency okay now let's look at the value of coins let's look at the value of coins okay now for five kobo for us to get split five kobo let's see how many one kobo we would get we have one two three four five so five one kobo will give us what five kobo that if we bring five of these one kobo we are going to get five kobo okay if we bring five of these one kobo we are going to get five kobo all right now let's see for 50 kobo for this 50 kobo let's see how many 10 kobos we can get to get 50 kobo all right here is our 10 kobo now to get this 50 kobo we are going to get five of these five of these 50 kobo will make uh, five of these um 10 kobo will make what 50 kobo that's five of these will give us this that's 10 kobo plus 10 kobo plus 10 kobo plus 10 kobo plus 10 kobo will give us what 50 kobo boys and girls are we following are we following i believe we are if you are not following please you ask questions all right let's continue now we have our what 25 kobo let's see for 25 kobo we'll get two of our 10 kobo plus our five kobo we'll get two of these and one of these we'll get what 25 kobo or another way is all another way is getting five or five kobo this is five kobo when you bring five of these you will get what 25 kobo that's five kobo plus five kobo plus five kobo plus five kobo plus five kobo will give us what 25 kobo boys and girls are we following please pay close attention in that same way that you want to go and buy biscuit of 10 naira and you bring five naira you bring the first one and you bring the second one making it 10 naira that is the same way that you would bring uh five of um five kobo here to be able to get what 25 kobo all right are you with me are you with me okay good now let's move to the next the next we have one naira here if you look closely here the biggest amount the biggest amount here boys and girls look closely we have how many coins do we have here the biggest amount in all of this is the what the one naira the biggest amount here is what the one naira coin the one naira coin is bigger than 50 kobo coin is bigger than half kobo coin is bigger than five kobo coin is bigger than 25 kobo coin is bigger than one kobo coin and it is bigger than what 10 kobo coin okay so one naira here is bigger so how do we get the biggest one naira coin now we said that to get one naira coin we'll have to get 100 kobos we'll gather 100 kobos to get what one naira for us to get just this one just this one naira here now we'll have to gather 10 kobos we'll have to gather 10 kobos before we get this one 
naira now let's look let's look at how um several forms that we can gather the uh, 100 kobo to get what one naira you know 100 is so big now count to 100 you know how big it is do you have up to 100 pencils no now imagine gathering um one one kobo into 100 places just to get one naira it's going to become it's going to be heavy right now let's see another way we can gather this hundred kobo just to make one naira okay now if this is hundred kobo let's split it into 10 that means this is our hundred this is our 10 kobo here look closely this is our 10 kobo please follow the pointer this is our 10 kobo that means these 10 kobo i'm going to bring out 10 of them to be able to get one naira there are 10 let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that means 10 of 10 kobos will give us what 100 kobo which is what one naira remember 10 plus 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 10 will give us what 100 now let's calculate it 10 plus 10 here is what 20 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 10 40 40 plus 10 50 50 plus 10 60 60 plus 10 70 70 plus 10 80 80 plus 10 90 90 plus 10 we can have what 100 which is 100 kobo and 100 kobo will now give us what one naira that means if you bring 10 of 10 kobos if you bring these 10 of these i would give you one naira that is the value for your what money if you bring 10 of these 10 kobo here i will give you one naira so you can imagine coming with 10 of these and i'll just give you one of these mm? i'll just give you one of these one naira isn't that wonderful now let's look at another way that we can get our hundred kobo that will give us um one naira now see another way this is 25 kobo where is our 25 kobo now watch this is our what 25 kobo if i bring four of my 25 kobo i would get what one naira right now this is 25 25 25 25 into four places 25 plus 25 is what 50 now 50 plus 25 is 75 now 75 plus 25 will give us what 100 kobo which is one naira that means if you bring four of these 25 kobos i will give you one naira okay you have to bring four of these then i'll give you what one naira okay let's see another way another way is when you bring two of 50 kobo when you bring two of 50 kobo you will get what 100 kobo that means if you bring two of these remember 50 plus 50 is 100 that is 100 kobo that means if you bring two of these to me i will give you one naira if you bring two of these 50 kobo you will have what just one naira coin 50 plus 50 will give us what 100 kobo and 100 kobo is equivalent to one naira did we get that it's so interesting boys and girls so let's move over to the next we have for today now let's see the nigerian currency let's see the nigerian banknote up to 1000 naira let's see 
the Nigerian what bank note up to 1000 naira okay we'll have the five naira we'll have the 10 naira we'll have the 20 naira we'll have the 50 naira we have the 100 naira we have the 200 naira we have the 500 naira and we have the 1000 naira now let's see a picture of what it looks like now look closely I believe we've seen five naira before this is what five naira the next behind it is what ten naira i believe we've seen it before why this one is what 20 naira i believe we've seen this before and this one is what our uh, what 50 naira okay now the next is our what 100 naira after 100 naira we'll get our what our 200 naira then we have our what 500 naira after the 500 the last denomination is what 1000 naira for now the banknote of nigeria is at 1000 naira that is the highest banknote of nigeria okay maybe in subsequent times they might come up with maybe 2000 naira note or 5000 naira note. but for now the banknote of nigeria the last of it is what and the highest of it is 1000 naira note all right boys and girls i believe we enjoy this class i believe if you have questions please and please and please chat me up in the school website I'm always available to take your questions and don't fail to do your class activity stay safe read your books and be a good boy be a good girl see you in a nice class I'm seeing Miss Emma Precious from practical computer comprehensive school number two Horace Christian Taba mind you if your friend is not learning tell him that we are learning here in practical computer comprehensive school that they are missing out all right guys bye see you in our next class